Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Scorpio placement that you deem relevant. Uh, personal reading information and jewelry seem all be linked and listed at the end. We'll post some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Excuse me, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. A lot of your cards have jumped out, Scorpio. Looks like we're jumping right into things. First card out is the Page of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. We have the Eight of Cups, Major Arcana, the Magician, uh, Aries Energy, and Major Arcana, the Devil card. Capricorn Energy could be important to you. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Page of, Pen Page of Cups, Pisces Energy, and the Five of Pentacles. All right, straight to it. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Some sort of, um, this is coming off as a good wish fulfillment. Definitely could be wish fulfillment. Um, with the Page of Pentacles in your past position with the Devil card here, there was something. Something new, something intriguing, something that very much captured your attention. Could be a person, place, or thing. It will be different for all of you. Um, but something that very much had your attention here. You could see how the page is kind of admiring that that pe that pentacle. Could be a new job, could be some sort of new creative hobby, could be some sort of new connection. Something you might have been a bit obsessed with, with this devil card here. Could have been a Capricorn specifically, but definitely very, it was giving obsession. Like you were hyper-focused, hyper, um, hyper-focused on whatever this page of pentacles was representing. A new opportunity. A new job, a new a new side hustle. Some of you, it is a new person. Very hyper-focused. A bit of obsession. With the Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups in your present position, I do see you're, you're pretty much walking away from whatever this is. That's usually how things go, right? The beginning, it's always that obsessive, you know, drawn to it, indulged in it after a while. That kind of d dies down. I do see a walking away here with the Eight of Cups. I do see a following of the intuition with the full moon being here. Someone is um, leaving whatever this is that once made them very, or had their attention, I should say. Whatever this is that once had someone's attention fully, completely. Um, obsessively, this person or you are ready to walk away from this. Um, it's not fulfilling. It's not fulfilling. The Eight of Cups is, um, you know, it's, it's good, but it's not the whole enchilada. It's not the whole enchilada. You could be walking away to something new. Um, with the Page of Cups here, Pisces Energy. That could also be an apology. That could also be an apology. If this is a person or a job, you could be apologizing. Be like, hey, you know what? I know I kind of came off hot and heavy, and I, this felt like something I really wanted to do, or I thought I was going to be um, wanting to do this for a very long time, but I think I changed my mind. I'm sorry. Also, it could be out of the blue. We just all of a sudden just stopped being interested in this thing whatever this page of pentacles is represented representing because the page of cups can also be a sort of out of the blue energy could also do do with something with children with all that page energy but i do see it was something new something relatively new that came into your life a person place or thing that recently came into your existence maybe over the summertime um and you were really really in in, in roped in it until you know you weren't very, very um, caught up in it until you weren't. But you are walking away to something new here. The magician energy that is focused on self or you're walking away to focus on yourself. This could be your energy. This could be someone that you are dealing with, connected to energetically. I do see you are walking away or taking your focus away from whatever this was in order to focus on self. The magician is an energy of self, I, me. Even though there might be a bit of loneliness that is that will come with taking your focus away from this thing with the five of pentacles that's you know kind of feeling alone feeling left out feeling abandoned or that could be if this is a person that you were once very much infatuated obsessed with you're no longer obsessed you're like ah, i'm sorry this is not going to work for me they could be feeling kind of left out or it could be the vice versa someone that was very much wrapped up in you and the situation is no longer kind of feeling that um that um you know that infatuation, that 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 pull, that 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 sort of um, this is all I want to focus on type of thing. The five is also an energy of change, so this could just be needing to change focus, even though um, it might bring 
some sort of um, loneliness or lack. Someone is definitely going to feel abandoned, though. For some of you, this is a connection, some sort of connection that you maybe had over the summertime or um, not even over the summertime, but you recently came into someone new, a new friend, a new lover, a new job, a new gig, and you're just not that into it anymore. You're just not that into it anymore. It does seem at one point you were very much obsessed with it, though. Inseparable. But it's kind of giving me infatuation vibes. Right? So, moving away from whatever this is in order to focus on the self, even though it means, you know, you might have to be alone for a little bit. Uh, but that's okay, because this is no longer where your focus is at. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This is what you're moving away from. This is just, this is what you're moving towards. Something that uh, is truly ideal. Also could be that you were hyper-focused on this thing and the realization is that this thing was not what you thought it was. It didn't end up being what you thought it was. There might have been some little, you know, um, bad habits or patterns that eventually got displayed and you realize, nah, this is not it. I got to remove myself. I'm back to focusing on myself. If this is a relationship, you're like, Ugh. you know, I thought this person would have been the one, you know, really saw potential here, but I am seeing, you know, red flags are maybe realizing there's some sort of karmic, it was a sort of another karmic cycle, especially with the eight of cups here. After a while, you realize, damn, it's just another, it's just a norm, another karmic cycle. So back to focusing on the self, back to sort of um, being the keeper of your own, your own company. Obviously, it was nice to have someone to kind of um, indulge in or be your muse, but it does seem like you realize that this it's time to focus back on self. Because if this whatever this situation is, it is not the Nine of Cups, and that is what your ultimate goal is. Wish fulfillment, contentment, um, living your best life. This is my living your best life card. Back to focus on the self. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. There could have been a bit of illusion surrounding this definitely seemed better than it uh, ended up being definitely sp definitely seemed better than it ended up being and there is some disappointment around that i am i am getting back to the drawing board is what i'm hearing in whatever way if this is dating you know you really thought that this person could be someone you could uh you know create some sort of stability with but it's looking like now nah, you're kind of back out there dating this is also giving me the vibes that if you're tempted to kind of just jump back into dating because you don't want to be alone, don't do that. Or this could be someone you're dealing with because there is a lot of masculine energy here. So this could be you or a masculine energy you may be dealing with. You could be coming up as this queen of wands, fire sign energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Not even focused on any of it. Or it could be saying that if this is a dating situation, this person is sort of distracting themselves with other dating, trying to get back out there dating again because they don't want to feel this lack. They don't want to feel this sort of um, loneliness. You, you're not going to do that. You're very much going to focus on yourself, focus on um, any sort of creative endeavor that you have because you know when you're ready, you can get whatever you want. When you're ready to get back on the horse, the horse, the horses will be there. So you're not in a rush. This is also telling me that there was some sort of intuition that you followed in regards to the situation. Yeah, some of you are gonna be focusing on expansion, on ways to create stability, on ways to um, grow some sort of creative endeavor. For some of you, a small group of you, there could have been a pregnancy and an abandonment because of this pregnancy. That's a very small group of you. But you're back to kind of keeping your, your energy to yourself. I see the Four of Pentacles underneath the deck here. Kind of back to just, uh, you know, being in your own company. Whoever it is that you were dealing with, though, they're kind of back to seeing what the options are. Another page at the bottom of the deck, page of wands. Whoever it is that you were dealing with, they're kind of back to kind of seeing what else is out there. You're very much focused on expansion and growth and bettering yourself. Raising your vibration so you no longer continue to uh, attract karmic cycles of this caliber. You know, getting to know yourself better so that you can be a little bit more discerning and don't get so caught up in the fields, right? Okay, let's see if this is a romance situation for you, Scorpio. What is the guidance? So you could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, a Capricorn, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, Pisces as well. We have here new love. <laughs> A new person has stirred your romantic interest at the bottom of that chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. So I do think this is either past energy, this is this new energy, or 
because you're choosing to focus on yourself and elevate yourself there is going to be someone new but it's not going to be um the same type of vibe the same type of vibe because this is good news some sort of good news communication but there is new love or this was for some of you this was a new love that you really thought had a lot of potential turns out not so much you kind of got swept away got caught up in the whole moment or, or you know the feelings and stuff and this is the realization or there will be a realization that this is not what you're looking for this is just another karmic cycle and this is also a realization for you that you still have um tweaking to do you still got some tweaking to do so you don't um continuously attract these kind of connections right we have here balanced spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces yeah balancing the spirituality with the practicality this was not so much practical it felt good i'm sure because it seems like the both of you were very much you know infatuated but this is now realizing okay i need to work on the practicality more and for me to in, in order to narrow down the kind of uh, situations and and things i bring in i need to work on myself that's the magician energy focusing on self but whoever it is you're dealing with that's not the approach they're going to be taking they feel lonely they feel left out especially if you were the one to be like ah this is not working for me i'm sorry they're very much seeing you know what else they can get into what else what other you know so it's it's definitely a pattern for them you i think are more so in the four of cups four of pentacles reserve preserving self-preservation you're realizing you're not ready yet. You still got tweaking to do. Take time out. Yeah. Bear spirit number nine. Single energy as well. That's what the nine of pen, the nine of um nine of cups here is too. So there is progression. You're going from the seven to the eight to the nine. And that's probably what's going to make you end up bringing in this new love a lot faster than this person because you're not, that's not your motive. Your motive is not just to have someone warm in your bed. You know, you want that high vibrational-ish. Whoever it is you're dealing with, they're just more concerned with having a warm body in their bed type of thing. We have here inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. This is very much treating the body as the temple. You are aware that you're very sacred. You're a sacred being. You're not just going to open your, your, your energy and self to anyone. Very much tying back into the four of pentacles. Soul family, call in your soul tribe. You don't have to do it alone. This is what you're looking for. Soul family, real, actual, genuine High vibrational connections. No more, no more, um, you know, karmic entanglements. And share your voice. Come out of the cave. Prosecution expression. So there is some sort of communication that's happening here. I am getting at that with the page of wands. There is some sort of conversation. I don't know if it's between you and this old person or if it's you and this new person. Because they see you kind of, um, you know, not giving your energy to others. So it kind of makes you a bit more desirable, a lot more desirable. Queen of Wands is desirable on their on their own. But when you don't need other, you know, you don't need to be in a relationship to know that you're worthy. That's a lot. That's a lot more attractive than whoever this is that just kind of uh, fills the fills the shoes. Right. One card for Scorpio, please. Also could be this person coming back around and realizing the shoes cannot be filled. You are worthy of everything good in this life. Everything. Yeah, that is the realization. And you're willing to be patient. You're willing to wait for it. If you can't find a way, carve your own effing path. Very much that magician energy. Back to the drawing board. Tweaking. If I'm still bringing in karmic lessons and patterns and connections and I'm still being caught up in infatuation, I still got work to do in myself. It has nothing to do with anyone else. This is just a reflection of me. All right, Scorpio, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.